So I thought I'd start this video off with a comment that I received on my previous The Prime episode, and that was the one that I received, the Rune Defender, and also the, um, and the Near Tizidon Helmet, and it was from Sausage Throw RS, and he said, you put the wrong clip in instead of the Rune Defender one, just to mention, great vid anyways, thank you very much for the support, my friend, and the comment, um, but, but I did watch over the clip, and I did realise that the clip I was commentating over, and um, what I was saying in the commentary was basically, you know, I managed to get the Rune Defender, it's time to get another one, but if you actually watch the video closely, I was picking up a Mithril Defender when it was meant to be the Rune Defender. So I'm going to quickly throw that clip in now and hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video. So there we have it. There is the Rune Defender. We finally got it. I'm going to stay here for a little while just to get myself a placeholder um, just in case I do die. And it always and it's always nice just to have a, a placeholder in the bank so you don't, know, you don't have to look for the Defender all the time. Um, but I'm going to stick around for a little bit like I just said and get another Rune Defender and then move on to probably Pest Control. No, no, no not Pest Control. Um, and I forgot that I actually could have finished the Garden of Tranquility quest. I did plant everything but I had to wait for it to grow. So I decided to wander off and do a couple of other little things. So I'm going to quickly finish off the Garden of Tranquility quest here. And hopefully it will get me some farming levels. But I'm mainly doing it just for the quest points. Um, because I guess quest points are always good. And there we are. So I've just returned to the Queen. And I've just completed the Garden of Tranquility. That's always good. Two quest points, 5k farming XP and some other useless stuff. But there we go. There's 37 farming. I'd gained two levels from that, which is always good. And two more quests. Two more quest points, so that's always nice. So I'm about to finish the Heroes quest, and a massive, 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 ginormously big thank you to Jesus, one of my mates. He um he was a part of the other the other gang that I you know that I needed to get the black armband. It was an absolute pain um trying to find somebody that would you know be willing to actually help me out with this. So I really really do appreciate it, Jesus. Um, it does mean a lot to me because now I can finish the Heroes quest and without you I don't I probably wouldn't have been able to complete this quest in a very very long time um, but I'm trying to complete all the quests necessary to um, to get the I think it's the Le the legends quest because I want to get the legends cape uh, 64 fishing 27 herb law 61 cooking not too bad 32 fire making as well and 55 smithing so a quest is definitely a very very good quest to do and I'm gonna have a little look inside I think it's 200k that I need or 250k for the dragon battle axe which is, which is a bit a bit uh a bit too expensive for me, but I'm going to have a little look now, and 200k, you must be joking. So if you have a little look in the chat right now, I've completed one Slayer task apparently, and that's because I decided to test out, I guess, a little theory, and that theory was to see if you if you cancel your current Slayer assignment with the guy in Bertha, I was seeing if that would cancel your... um your Slayer task streak, and as you know, as you see down the bottom in the chat box, it does cancel your task, so rippity doo da rippity day for me, because I'm not having a wonderful day, because I lost my 16 task streak, now, I am lucky I did try this at 16 tasks, rather than like 99 or something like that, because if I would have done this at 99 tasks, I would not be a happy chappy, but um, that's, that's the dealio right now, I guess. Um, but I think it's like five or ten tasks. That's when you start getting points again. So it's going to be a little bit of a pain for me to get, um, I guess, the tasks rolling again. So I may even consider going to the birth up dude and getting my tasks back up to like five or ten. Um, so I can earn those slay points. And I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to head over to Birthorpe now and speak to old mate bitch titties again and get me some, basically, I'm just going to do like five. Oh, is that worth it? I don't know. I'm going to do five tasks really quickly. Titty sprinkles. Oh, one experience away from 70 attack. Check this guy and run away. So there we go. There's 70 attack. Um, and let's have a little look what we can do with 70 attack. So we all know we can use the Abyssal Whip. We can also use the, uh, the Sarah... The, oh, piss off. Anyway, we can use the Sarah Demon Sword. Mainly just the, uh, the Sarah Demon Sword and the Abyssal Whip, which is, um, which is excellent. The only problem I'm running into now is I need to finance that whip. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that just yet, but, um... For the time being, I'm going to be using my Dragon Skimitar to get myself uh, 70 Strength, and then I'll move on to doing 70 Defense as well. And once I've got those base 70 stats, I may, um, I may, I'm not sure what I'm going to do after that. Oh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get my hands on a bunch of Iron Knives, and then throw those at the Ogres at the, I think it's the Combat Arena, or the Combat Guild, or whatever it's called. But I want to throw a ton of knives at those ogres and um, get 70 range as well. And once I hit all those 70 stats, I'll be able to move on to do some barrows, which will be good for money if I do get lucky. I may or may not get lucky 
um, with regard to having dry or wet chests, I guess you can call it. That sounds a bit dodgy, but anyway, yeah, I am making quite a bit of progress now, obviously with the 70 attack, and if I can get 70 strength and 70 defense, that would be also very, very good. But um, at the same time, you know, level 70 stats aren't, you know, they're not that high. I do want to be getting like 80 and 90 and 99 stats very shortly if I can. But um, I am working. I, I guess you've got to work through stepping stones to eventually get your um, your overall goal. So that's what I've been working on now. And um, I'll see you in the next clip. So what I've decided to do is I've... Uh, I've I've resorted to using one of my friends' help because what I've done is I've actually um, gone and borrowed 2.5 mil GP from him, and uh, that's just simply because I want to speed up, start speeding up the process or the, I guess the progress of this account. And what I've done with that is I bought the black mask, so I got a black mask for myself to speed up my Slayer, and I've also bought a ton of Ranar seeds. I'm not going to show what I'm going to spend the rest of the money on. So I'm probably going to spend the rest of the money on a bank video just to basically show you guys um, what I've got stored in the bank. And it would be very, very nice for me to, I guess, uh, clean up my bank so I have a lot of teleports so I don't have to worry about buying lore runes anymore um, or, you know, just that, that sort of stuff. My jewelry is probably my main thing as well. Like my ring of duelings and my uh, games necklaces and things like that. I may or may not even buy uh, a few more glory so I don't have to recharge those all the time. Now I believe there's a, a pool of life or something in the wilderness where you actually get six charges on your glory. Which would be good. But um, I did, I have recently completed the hero's quest. So I'm just going to be using that little pool in the hero's guild for the time being to recharge my amulet of glory. But that's sort of the plan right now. I'm going to clean up my bank, buy me a lot more supplies and stuff like that. So I can, um, you know, I don't struggle anymore and then I'll be able to pay my friend back. I did not expect prayer flicking these fire giants to be so difficult. I'm still trying to learn when these guys are actually hitting and when to flick my protect from melee prayer because it is quite difficult with these fire giants because they're, they attack, you know, the, their attacks are really, really dodgy. But, um, I, there it is. We have 50 Slayer now. I did not record... Uh, levels 48 and 49. I just want to record basically just the 50. But the next level we'll be getting is... 66 strength, my friends. So there it is, 66 strength. And we are still 81 combat. On my 68 hit points level, I did manage to get um, uh, 81 combat. So that's not too bad, I guess, 81, 81 combat. But I'm trying to get um, 70 strength. And then after 70 strength, I'm going to be going to be buying myself an Abyssal Whip and training my defense until 70 as well. And that will just allow me to use my Barrows, such as uh, Carols. Uh, well, if I was to use Carols, I need 70 range, but it will allow me to use my Verax Skirt. I don't have a Verax Skirt just yet, but I would like to buy a Verax Skirt just for the prayer bonus and the defensive bonus as well. Um, so that's my sort of plan. Now, I would also like to get a Fighter Torso. That's also on the agenda. Um, and my, for the ring, I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to get. I'm not going to get the Berserker Ring just yet. So I'm sticking with the Ring of Dueling just uh, because of the teleports. And, you know, because with the Castle was teleport, you teleport right next to a bank, which is really, really convenient for me. And in before this is a runner, called it. Nope. All right, never mind.